Today, we're making birria tacos. So if you love tender shredded meat, and you love street tacos, stay tuned because this recipe is up next. Here I've got a beef barbacoa taco. And what most people don't realize is this already is pretty much birria. Thanks to the marinade and the slow cooking, this beef is a stewed meat. And this juice here I'm pouring over the top of it is pretty much what separates the barbacoa from the birria tacos. It comes from the bottom of the pan after your roast is fully cooked. It's all the juice from that rendered fat, from the marinade, so you've got all those nice Mexican flavors in there. But the recipes are specific for beef and pork, so the ingredients are a little bit different for each one. And lucky for you, I have already filmed both pork and beef barbacoa recipes, so you can learn to get results like these. I'll leave a link at the end of this video and in the description below. And though birria is usually intended for lamb, you can also make this with chicken. But once again, the recipe is geared towards the taste and flavor of chicken, so the ingredients are slightly different. The one constant ingredient I use in the beef and pork recipe, however, is my red chili enchilada sauce. About a cup of this goes into each one of those marinades, and I'll leave a link at the end of this video and in the description below as well. And though the chicken recipe is different, you're still left with a nice rendered sauce. But the red enchilada sauce is needed for red tacos, so definitely learn this recipe. Because birria tacos isn't just about the tendered stewed meat, it's also about this juice here. And I like to mix the two together to make that French dip taco. Now with a hot pan on the stove, I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil and show you how to make three different styles of birria tacos. Today I'm using yellow corn tortillas. I'm just going to get a little bit crispy here on the outsides of both sides of the tortilla. Spend about 20 seconds per side, then remove them from the heat. Now those are for the red tacos and I'm going to show you how to do those last. The first birria taco, I'm going to go ahead and oil both sides here, heat it up. Get a little bit crispy here. And using my tongs here, I'm going to add a real good portion here of barbacoa. Then I'm just going to fold this in half here and hold it, cook it like a quesadilla. And remember you can use any of the meats, but just give it about 20 seconds on each side before you flip, and it'll turn out perfect like this. Now that's just a straight birria taco. What about a queso birria taco? I'm going to go ahead and get both sides of this tortilla here, but this time we're going to lay down some cheese. Monterey Jack. Another good pinch of barbacoa. This is my pork recipe by the way. Fold it in half, hold. Another 20 seconds here. Flip it over. Like a true professional of course. You can always just push that meat back inside. And after another good 20 seconds here we can go ahead and give it a good flip. And as you can see we've got a perfect queso barilla taco. That's two out of three. Now let's go ahead and make our red tacos. Remember this homemade red enchilada sauce? I like to use this instead of the stew juice. Remember our pre-cooked corn tortillas? Well, we're gonna drop that in the sauce, one side only, and then we're gonna sauce side down in the pan. You can go with or without cheese. I'm going to add it, another good chunk of barbacoa pork. Then once again we'll carefully fold this over in half. Hold it for a bit. Give it 20 seconds on each side. And give it a flip. And tacos are messy so it doesn't matter if you make a mess much. Just stuff it back in that shell. As you can see here we've definitely got a red taco. Queseparilla red taco. And that makes three out of three. We've got the regular queso and now the red taco queso. So we'll just scoop up a little bit of this jus. And I'm going to add a little bit of this red enchilada sauce. It gives it a little bit more flavor. And once you give that a good mix, you can go ahead and add that to the plate. 
Top off your tacos with some freshly chopped cilantro and green onion. And there you have it. Bidia Tacos, right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching, and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.